welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing my monthly makeup product overview um, where I basically share all the new products that I tried last month and kind of give you guys a brief overview of my thoughts. If you're, if you're new here, you may not know, but I don't like to do reviews. I just, I did a video about it. I'll, I'll link that if you guys want to know why, but um, these are, I'm calling these overviews. It'll be review-like, but basically I'm to keep myself out of hot water, we're calling it an overview. <laughs> um, and just kind of sharing my thoughts after using them. Some of them you may have already seen on my channel. Some of them I have not shown on my channel yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and chit chat about the products I tried and my kind of quick thoughts about it. All right, so the first product I have to share with you um, is the one product I tried in November. Um, and it's it's a very kind of boring product, but this is the Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfumed Hair and Body Mist. The reason why I tried this, which is kind of Silly. I filmed a video a while back talking about products that have or brands that have never really interested me. Pacifica is one of those brands and I said for a, a lot of the reasons was that the 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 makeup specifically um, was kind of higher priced and just looked very cheap and didn't look like anything that really caught my attention. Anything I really want to try it just it just I never really felt interested in it. On that video though, so many of the comments were like, okay, yes, I kind of agree with you about, you about the makeup of Pacifica, but their skincare is amazing. Their skincare is great. You gotta try their skincare. And so that stuck with me. So anyways, seems kind of silly, but I was doing an, I was making a purchase at Ulta, um, and I was looking, I was like, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm really intrigued now. Everybody says Pacific, Pacifica skincare is good. I should try something. So I went to look at I cannot talk. So I went to look at the Pacifica stuff on the Ulta website. Um, and I don't know, I just felt kind of like overwhelmed. Like, what do I want to try? Like, what skincare is actually good? People just said skincare, nothing specifically. And I just, I don't know. I, I didn't know what to get. So here's where you guys, those of you who would recommend um, Pacifica skincare, please leave me your recommendations on what I should try because I just, I had no clue. I was just like, I felt like, not that there was an overwhelming amount of products to try, but I was just like, nothing, again, really called out to me like, ooh, that's so interesting, I need to try this, of, of even their skincare. So you guys need to recommend something specifically, like, this is great, you need to try it for this reason or whatever. <laughs> that being said, I was like, I want to try at least something. And this is like where I ended up. Um, I just grabbed this because I love vanilla. It's my favorite scent. So I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. So it's not skincare, it's not their makeup, it's just a stinking body mist, a hair fragrance, and it's really boring. It smells okay, let me see. Yeah, it smells nice, um, and it's, I didn't ever really use it as like a body spray. I used it in my hair, like usually after I like showered, my hair was a little bit damp and I'd spray it in my hair. I feel like the fragrance didn't last very long, like I didn't smell in my hair like after like two hours or something, like I didn't smell it anymore. So it was just okay. I think it was like only six dollars. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. it. It was just kind of like a silly random pickup for me, last minute pickup. So that's, I know that's, that was a long thing to talk about. This, I, w I wouldn't really recommend it. It's just so lightweight that like the fragrance doesn't really stay. So it's kind of like pointless a little bit. I don't know. Uh, so I need you guys, it's like those of you who really recommend Specifica skincare, let me know specific products because I, I'm, I'm clearly a mess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on. All right, next up is an eye cream. This is the Rock um, Retinol Correction Eye Cream. It's supposed to visibly reduce wrinkles around the eyes, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. I think I've only been using this for two weeks or so. I had mentioned in my last empties video that, um, I, cause I ran out of my favorite eye cream, which is the Derma E Firming Eye Cream. I love that stuff. But I mentioned that instead of purchasing that again, that I wanted to try a new eye cream. And this is what it, what it was. Um, this was on sale. It was like buy one, get one 50% off or buy one, get one free. I can't quite remember. So I did pick up two of these. So I'm kind of set for quite a while on them. So I won't be picking up any new eye cream. I kind of feel like at the moment, I do like my Derma E one better because, um, like I said, it's my favorite because of the firming benefits. Now, as I am getting older, my eyelids are getting a little bit more droopy. They are getting a little bit more hooded. Like when I smile, um, like my eyelids just droop down so much. Um, and I know that just comes with, with, with aging and there's nothing wrong with that. But if I can like prolong the firming 
um, you know, using creams and stuff like that, I'm, I'm all for, for it. And because I do, you know, I'm always, you know, playing, you know, with makeup and putting on makeup on my eyes and the eyes are such a delicate area. I really want to make sure I'm taking care of them. But I heard, I've heard, not from like YouTubers or anything, but just in general, somewhere I remember hearing really, really great things about Rock, um, the brand, because it does have the retinol in it, and that it's a really, really great, um, just skincare line in general. So, um, I wanted to give it a try, and I think it's okay. I don't feel like I'm seeing results like I do with the firming eye cream of, of Derma E. But then again, this isn't necessarily a firming eye cream. Like I said, it's supposed to um, reduce wrinkles, reduce crow's feet, which I don't really have crow's feet. I do have some wrinkling on my lids. Um, I do have dark circles and I do get a little bit of puffiness. But at the same time, I just, I don't know if I'm feeling the result yet. Um, like I said, it's only been two weeks and with skincare, you really have to give it quite some time to see results so I'm gonna obviously keep using it and hopefully I will see a difference otherwise when I'm done with these I will definitely be going back to my Derma E firming eye cream because that's what I want more than anything is the firming benefit so um, yeah <laughs> all right next up might seem like an interesting or weird thing for my channel but it's still beauty related I figured I would talk about it I was reached out to and sent this for review with no like requirements or anything like that they just said you know try it share it if you want to, uh, let us know your thoughts. Um, I was like, okay, cool. Um, so what I have here is a <laughs> razor. This is the Aveline um, razor, and I guess it was specifically designed for women. It was specifically designed to be like unique and just very, very different and be the most useful, helpful for shaving in all kinds of areas. Um, and so I was very, very intrigued by it. So as you can see, it does look very different than your typical razor. It is, it looks very much so like a travel size razor, um, but this is the regular standard size. It has these little roller balls on them. So that way when you're like shaving, you could kind of, I don't know, it said something about like a little like massage as you go, I don't know. I, um, when I shaved, I've never really kind of held it close to my, my. Um, you could kind of, see how you could do this? You kind of hold it like this and it can roll onto your, your legs or wherever you're shaving to kind of gently glide wherever you want to do it. But anytime I shave, I usually have it up like this and kind of like shave. I'm also, also, I'm also usually always shaving kind of like very quickly in the shower. Now if I were to shave like in the bath, taking my time a little bit, maybe I would glide it along or whatever, but I, I never actually use this in, in the bath. I've always just shaved quickly in the shower so could be different but I didn't actually use these little rollerball things but it's a, a, a cute um interesting idea um <laughs> additionally like this pivots and I'll probably show you guys it up close so you can see a little bit better but this pivots all different ways like it even goes side to side like look at this like it's meant to like hit every single curve and comfortably reach all the different areas wherever you were shaving and reach every little curve and I actually really really like that about it um I, I one thing I would say is I even though this design is is I like the design I do wish the handle was just a little bit longer. From my hand and the way I shave, um, I, I would prefer a little bit more length of the handle, but other than that, I, I liked the design. So as you can see, it's got these loops. So in the demos they have, they show people shaving kind of like this. Again, that's a way, another way that I never really shaved. If I were taking a bath, maybe I would shave this way, kind of like, you know, just hold it and like hug the curves of my calves or ankles or knees or whatever or wherever you're shaving like shaving your armpits kind of thing you can hold it on like this one thing I do like is that even though they got this loop here and not everybody will shave like that they left it open in the middle because this is actually how I shave and they even have a little finger spot right here so that if you do shave a different way you know like this my finger fit perfectly and see this is why I wish it was a little bit longer because I feel like I'm holding it like this and then I kind of have to hold it like this but if it were a little bit longer to rest on my palm that would be a little bit better but I've kind of just gripped it like this so my finger fits perfectly between this little slot here um, and right here so it's designed with you know multiple ways of use in mind so whether you shave like this or like this it'll work for you um, additionally it's got 12 no sorry um, six razor blades as you can see three up here three down here it's got this little rubber um, bit around it here to kind of help I don't know exfoliate or whatever um, and then right here at the top this is like a little soap 
um, and uh, right here as well. A little bit of, I'm pretty sure, like a little bit of a soap cartridge. Anyway, so I like that about it. I like how big it is. So you, I feel like you're reaching a lot of area, a lot of space um, in one swipe. So that's really, really nice. Now, um, I think that's all I have to say about it, except for that this is kind of like a subscription. Um, you can order it. If you're just trying it once, this, if you're just buying this singly, it is $12, which is kind of expensive. But if you want to repurchase um, a refill, you get a four pack of refills, and that also is just $12. So I kind of think like that's actually a pretty good deal. Um, I normally spend about $10 for a pack of like four or five disposable razors. Um, and so while this is just a little bit more expensive, it's definitely like a lot better than the cheaper uh, razors that I use that I purchased from like Walmart or whatever. So I think the idea whether you do the subscription, you can do it like every month, every two months or whatever, or just buy like a single package of refills, which is like four cartridges. That's a really good deal and I imagine it'll last quite a long time because I've had this for, I've been using this for about a month. So as you can see, it's kind of, it might look gross up close, I'm sorry. But I've been using it and I've been using this for I think maybe three weeks maybe a f the full month um, and it's still like it's not dull yet it's still working really great so I think the quality is really great so that price to me is like it's it's cool I'm good with it I think that's a good price and I think it's a nifty little razor so if you're looking for a new razor like this might be one to look into um, again I'm, I'm not like being paid this is not sponsored I was sent this for free to review but I don't get anything out of anything if you if you try it or whatever but I will have it linked below I'll have probably try it or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I will try to link everything that I talk about in the description box so that you guys can you know find it if you're interested in it <laughs> next up I have the uh, glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer um, and this is in the shade new glow it's nude glow it's just like a little baby sample size but I've been using this I've only used it like maybe three or four times but apparently it's like and I remember it smells good. Oh, it smells like orange creamsicle. It smells really good. And it's just like this moisturizer that has like a luminosity to it. It's just a, like illuminating moisturizer. And I've used it a couple times and I really, really like it. Um, I don't think it has any other benefits besides that, but it was nice to use. It smells good. And I'll probably keep using it. And I don't think I would purchase it out of just having that to try, but it was, it was nice and I've been enjoying it while I have it. <laughs> Next up, another thing that's kind of random, but I haven't talked about deodorants before on my channel, so I'm gonna talk about it uh, now. This is a new deodorant to me. This is the doTERRA uh, Beautiful Captivating Blend Deodorant. Now doTERRA, if you don't know, is an essential oil um, company. And as most people don't really realize that doTERRA is a lot more than just essential oils. They have all kinds of other products. Um, and so they came out with an all natural deodorant using essential oils, um, the beautiful blend that they have, which smells really, really great. Um, oh, I love it. So, um, normally I have another deodorant that I, that I use as a natural deodorant. I cannot, I never can remember the name of the deodorant, but I've talked about it before and it's a deodorant that works great. I get really, really stinky. I've talked about that before on my channel. Um, and that is one of the only, uh, natural deodorants that works really well for me, that keeps me stink free. Um, but the only downside to that one is that it is made with beeswax and so it's a little bit of a thicker, um, formula for deodorant and that tends to kind of stain uh, give me some staining on my clothes and things like that I have to be very very careful with it so I was just really curious since they um, doTERRA came out with this new beautiful blend um, to give that a try um, and I do really really like it I feel like it does keep me like um, smelling good I feel like maybe the other deodorant I have helps me smell better longer um, than this one does but the bonus of this one is that it's um, a little bit more feels more like a more regular deodorant so it's not as thick as the one um, the other natural deodorant I use which I will just have linked below or I'll put it on the screen what the name of it is but yeah so I've just kind of been going back and forth between using this one and the one I already have on hand um, and I really the main thing I like better about this is that it's not staining my clothes it's not as thick um, but yeah all right next up I've got some new lipsticks that I tried last month and these are the brand new city lips or city beauty city lips matte liquid lipsticks I did do a um, full swatch video on my channel I'll have it linked for you guys check it out if you have not checked it out but city beauty um oh and i recently became an affiliate with them because i love their their lip products um so i do have a discount code with them i'll put it on the screen but it's a 10 percent off discount code it gets you 10 percent off anything on their website they have skincare as well as their lip products they've had plumping lip glosses which 
I love their plumping lip glosses. I have a swatch video of that too, which I will link. But they recently came out with matte liquid lipsticks. And these are amazing. I really, really love these. I did talk more about them and give kind of a little bit more of a review, if you will, in my swatch video. So I won't talk much about them, but I will just say they are really, really wonderful. They have a very fine applicator tip. They're very long lasting, very, very comfortable. Like you don't feel like you're wearing them. Um, and they're just wonderful. And I think there's like 10 different shades. They're beautiful, beautiful. So um, anyways, if you want to learn a little bit more about the City Lips Matte Liquid Lipsticks, check out that video. Alright you guys, I have more skincare, lots of skincare this this last month, um, but I got the Coco Insolil, I don't know how to pronounce it, I think it's like a French brand, um, but this is their Makeup Assassin Makeup Remover. I did do a demo of this on my Instagram, I'll link that in the description box for you guys if you want to see it in action. Um, this stuff's really, really wonderful. Uh, I really like it. It has a really lovely scent, like a rose scent. If you like, if you don't like rose scents, you probably won't like this because it very definitely smells like roses. But it's not like a super crazy artificial perfumey rose. It literally smells like fresh roses. Like if I went out and smelled the fresh rose, it smells just like it. Um, and I and I don't mind that. I actually like the scent of rose. Um, and it does a really, really good job. Oh my gosh, this stuff works beautifully. This has been my go-to. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. My go-to makeup remover, I use it in con in conjunction with my makeup eraser um, cloth. And I really, I feel sad even saying it because this is, this is an expensive. I think this is like $50, which is crazy. So I do not think I would purchase with my own money. I did get this in PR. I don't know if I said that. I got this for free for review. Um, and I don't know if I purchased my own money because it is so expensive. You get um, 3.3 ounces or 100 milliliters. Um, I think it's a decent amount of product that you get and a little bit goes a long way and it does a fantastic job, but $50 is so, so much money. This brand is just an expensive brand and I feel very fortunate to have received it to try it out. Um, I will say that this would be like probably the my second favorite makeup remover that I've ever tried. Um, I've tried lots of different makeup removers and a lot of them I like, but there's some like a standard that I have and the It Cosmetics Makeup Melting Balm is like the top, that's my favorite. That's pretty expensive too, but I don't think it's as expensive as this and I feel like you might get a lot more or it's like in a big tube and I feel like you get more. I could be totally wrong, I'll try to put it on the screen which one's worth it. <laughs> All right, instead of putting the info on the screen, I thought I would just pop in really quick to let you guys know so you guys can hear it in case you, you were um, you know, doing something else and not looking at the screen. But I was actually wrong about the price of the Makeup Assassin. I was remembering another one of their products, one of their masks, that's $50, but the Makeup Assassin is only $35, which actually makes it cheaper than the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup, um, which is $38 for 2.82 ounces. So really, you are getting a better deal with um, the Makeup Assassin Makeup Remover. So I think if I were to repurchase, I probably would purchase this over the Bye Bye Makeup, even though I absolutely love the Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. But I really have been loving this one as well. And I really love the glow that it gives my skin after I'm done using it and how soft my skin feels. So because it is a little bit of a better deal, I think I would repurchase this over the Bye Bye Makeup, but both are really, really amazing. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that real quick. <laughs> um, if you're gonna spend the money. The thing is with the It Cosmetics one is that it, it it's a balm that just melts in your hand almost like an oil and removes your makeup very well like an oil remover would, only except for what I love about it is that when you rinse it off, you can rinse it off with water and it doesn't leave a greasy residue on your skin, your hands. Whereas a lot of other makeup removers that are like that, a little bit oily, you have to use like a wipe or something else or, or like soap and water or a cleanser to really get that greasy feeling off your face and your hands. Um, and I love that with the cosmetics one, you could just wash it off with water and you're good. Um, this one's a little bit in between. It, it You can wash it off with water and it really doesn't leave a major residue on your on your hands or face, um, but a little bit. So it's a little bit um, just under the A Cosmetic one, if that makes sense. But this is the closest one that I would say is similar to that, what that does with the A Cosmetics one, um, where it doesn't feel greasy, but it still leaves your skin feeling very smooth. And it gives my skin, like after I'm done using it, like a, like a, a luminosity. Like when I remove my makeup, my, my skin is like 
glowing. So I love that about it. Um, you'll you can see that in my demo. Like my skin just is this looks so so good. Um, and so I do believe this has some really good ingredients in it too. And I just cannot remember off the top of my head. Um, but I really really like this. Uh, if you have the money to, to splurge and you really like to splurge on your makeup remover products, I'm just someone who doesn't. I can't. I know it, it's 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 not like a bad thing to splurge on skincare or makeup removers, but for some reason I'm the type of person who just can't get myself to splurge on makeup removers. I don't know why, but this is good. And if you have that type of money to spend, I would say it's worth it. It's really, really good. Um, if, you know, if that's within your budget, you know, I, I would recommend. <laughs> Up next, I got another pretty pink product. This is from the brand Biovine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Biovine Barcelona. I was sent this in PR as well. This is their pink peel off masks. mask. Um, it is their clarifying, firm, and hydrated, skin restoring, moisturizing nourishment. Um, activated charcoal with strawberry, collagen, and argan oil, and more. Like literally that's everything it says on here. It says suitable for all skin types and you can get up to 30 applications with this one that is 3.4 fluid ounces. Um, and this actually, this smells so good. It smells like strawberries. Oh, it's great. I've only used this twice. Um, once was this morning. I used it and filmed the demo. I mean, I don't know if that'll be up by the time I put this video up, but I will have a demo for it eventually on my Instagram account. So if it's up, I will link it for you guys. Um, this is really, really nice. I don't know how much it costs, but I do believe you can purchase this brand in Walmart. I've seen uh, some of their other products in Walmart, so I would imagine it's kind of an affordable brand. Um, some of their products are a little bit gimmicky. Like I've seen them have like the glitter peel off masks and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how, you know, great this is for your skin, how the benefits are, but it's got activated charcoal, uh, collagen, argan oil, which are some good things for it. Um, and it's just, but it's just, I think mostly for fun. You know what I mean? It's pink. It's like a peel off mask. It's very Instagram skincare esque. Um, so this may or may not be for you, but if you are into like the peel off masks, you might like it. Um, I feel like when I use it, it does leave my skin feeling so, so soft. It feels really great. Um, it really is kind of like a little bit painful to to peel off. It does say in the, the instructions to really only keep it in your T-zone area, maybe a little bit right here, and not place it in areas that you have a lot of like peach fuzz or hair because um, that is painful. When I use it, I have put it all over my face and I do got quite a bit of peach fuzz here, so that is a little bit painful. It really does stick to your skin, so when you're peeling it off, it's like, um, but I feel like when I use it, it does, my skin does feel like firmer, softer, and nice. I don't know, it could be totally placebo <laughs> effect, but but I have I have enjoyed the, the two times that I used it. I do notice that also when I use it, like around my pore areas, it like, like you could tell it's like pulling apart. It's like pulling something out of there. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination, but anyways. I, if you wanna try it out, check it out, out check them out at Walmart um, for something fun. <laughs> All right, moving back on up to some higher end skincare again. Um, these I've actually had for a lot longer than the last two months, but I just really have not um, put them to use. I don't know why. Sometimes I get packages and I um, like leave them in here in my office and or like put them away in a drawer and think, okay, I'm gonna try this later. And then I forget to look in that drawer of, of new stuff to try. Um, this was kind of one of them. And I was going through my drawer as I was kind of trying to clean up and I was like, oh my gosh, how come I have not tried these yet? Um, they're from the brand Fresh, which is a very expensive brand sold in Sephora. I am on their PR list, so I did receive these for free. Um, and I'm like, why are these just hiding and I'm not putting them to use? These are expensive, I should be using these. So I did uh, pull them out to start using them. I think maybe towards the end of November or maybe the beginning of December. Um, so as you can see, I haven't used a ton of it. I have this and then two, oop, 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 don't go anywhere, two masks. This I kind of just keep forgetting to use. I don't know if I should keep this in my bathroom, which is where it's been, or keep it in here in my office where I do my makeup. But this is their Black Tea Kombucha um, Facial Treatment Essence. It's an anti-pollination, age delay, um, like kind of um, serum or liquidy, something. I don't know how else to explain it. It's very like sturdy in this glass. And I think I looked this up and it's like $90, $99 or $100. I'm like, oh my God. 
So I like I need to like remember to use this and put it to use. I've heard a lot of really great things about it. Basically, you could use it in the morning or the evening. It says gently sweep over cleansed face and neck with your fingertips. Use twice a day to prep skin for your serum, serums and moisturizers. And let me just kind of read what it says because I'm going to mess it up. This is a silky a liquid leave on formula powered by kombucha. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, fermented sweet black tea that increases moisture and luminosity, luminosity for a radiant lustrous complexion. The highly concentrated age delay treatment provides daily antioxidant and anti-pollen protection, which helps prevent premature signs of aging. And the vers versatile weightless essence also smooths and softens the look of fine lines. This sounds amazing. Um, and refines the appearance of skin, boosting its resilience and vitality. So I'm like, I need to be using this. This sounds amazing. As you can see, like I already said, I haven't used a ton of it. And every time I've used it, it's kind of been like sporadic. Like I'll use it one day and then like use it the next week only once you know what I mean it hasn't been enough to where I can know like oh my god I'm seeing so much results with this I need to just do that like use it every day um I just haven't yet but let me just pour some in my hand so I can see like remind myself what it feels like it is very very liquidy um it does have like a um slice Ooh, it smells really good too um serum like feeling on on the skin it does if I remember correctly like steep right in um, so it's not heavy but um my skin feels smooth when I put it on I I like it and the benefits sound really good and because this is so so expensive I really want to put it to use to remind myself to use it every day and update you guys um it'll probably be a while but for before I do it in an empties video but hopefully I can update you guys sooner than later on how I feel like this is working because if it's um, gonna be one of those things that kind of helps protect my skin from like free radicals and things like that it's what it's sounding like but also soften my skin I am getting more fine lines and wrinkles up in my forehead and things like that like I need all the help I can get as I'm getting older so Anyways, I need to remember to keep using it, but it's it's so far like I do like it when I use it, but I don't know if I'm seeing results or not. Um, next up, I have the Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. <laughs> Sounds so dramatic. Instant Perfecting Mask. I wish. <laughs> um, with advanced antioxidants, smooths and immediately softens. I've used this like three or four times. Um, or maybe a little bit more because I've kind of look at I've made a good dent in it um, This is like a mask that you do put on and then remove. It's very very like fine um, And thin like it's not like a like a um, Charcoal mask or mud mask that you like feel and even though I've used it a few times like I don't know I can't remember how I feel about it I feel like it probably does leave my skin looking and feeling nice I should have used it more recently to to let you guys know but you know fresh skincare is like they are expensive, but they are a really good brand. So I would I would not think that they would put out something that doesn't really work. But as far as the whole like instant perfecting, like <laughs> I don't think I've ever put this on and then felt perfect afterwards. But it is very, very nice. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm almost done with it as you can see, so I'll try to update in an empty zone. Next up uh, is the uh, black tea firming overnight mask uh, with soothing Belle de Nut. I don't know, extract. <laughs> um this says, uh, this works in sync with the skin's natural nighttime recovery process to achieve a lifted, firmer look by the morning. Massage a generous layer onto the face and neck, leave on overnight, can be used nightly as a final step in your skincare. Um, but I've used this, I think, just twice. Um, and I do really, really like it. These all smell really, really good. This one feels really, really nice. It it feels very, it's like kind of thicker. So it's a little bit weird to kind of like put on all over your face and neck and like go to sleep in it, but it doesn't bother me that much. I do recall, cause I used it fairly recently, more recent than the other stuff, that it did like when I woke up, my skin felt very soft and plump and just like felt really really nice so I definitely want to keep using this because I felt like over at least the other mask I felt like I felt something more with this one anyways that was a lot of rambling I have two more products probably the more exciting products of this video so let's get to it <laughs> so um, the next thing as you can see I thought that was really cute this is the Ciate London uh, stamp and drag liner um, that I recently got in PR I am on the Ciate London PR list um, they just kind of send things sporadically like it's really weird but I'm not complaining because I really have found myself enjoying a lot of their products um, and I was actually really, really excited to get this. I didn't know I was getting it. It just arrived and I was like, sweet, because I had been trying to get the Lottie London um, stamp liner for the longest time, but it's always sold out. 
Um, and Lottie London is actually the sister company to Ciate London. Ciate is the more high-end brand and Lottie London is a little bit more like affordable prices. But they, if you look, uh, they have some products that are very, very similar to each other. Um, just different prices. The Ciate stuff is definitely a little bit better quality. Obviously it should be because you're paying a lot more money. And sorry, that's my chair squeaking if you're hearing that. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting. Anyways, I have tried this three, three times, I think. Um, and I really, really like it. As you guys know, I have something similar. It is from Ulta Beauty, their stamp liner. Um, but the thing about this, the Ulta Beauty one is that it's like the stamp is separate from the liquid liner, but this is two in one. So you have the liner on one side and the stamp on the other. So for those who didn't know what I was talking about, this is like literally like a winged liner stamp. Um, and then it has the liner in one. This one is a, a bit more dramatic than the one I have from Ulta Beauty. Um, the, the little triangle stamp is a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, so I do feel like I get a little bit more dramatic stamp, and I, but I really like it um, a lot. I will say I'm not a fan of this side, and even though I'm, I was really excited about having the two-in-one, just a little bit more convenient instead of having the stamp and then switching to another liner, I still have been finding myself switching to a different liner because this one is just a little bit too wide and short. I feel like I wouldn't mind the width of this, like how fat and big it is, if it were just a little bit longer. But I feel like when I use this, I, it, I can't get the precision that I really want for my wing and I end up with something that's just too big. And not big in the way it's like too dramatic, but just too fat. Like I really cannot get into having a close line in here. Um, on my lid, on my lash line, and I need a really fine tip right there because my eyes kind of crease, like right at my lash line, I have a little, a few folds um, on my lids, and so if I don't get a very precise line a certain kind of way, it always looks wrinkly or jagged and not a crisp, clean line, and so with this kind of fatter one, it's just, it doesn't <sighs> look good. So when I've been using it, I have been having to use the the stamp and a little bit of this and then I switched to another more fine tip liner like the A Cosmetics Superhero Liner. That's one of my favorite um, uh, liquid pen liners and so um, that's what I have been using kind of. But I love the idea of this. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm thinking about filming it tomorrow but I do plan on doing a demo using this. You guys can see it in action. Um, but I love the concept, love the idea. I just need to play around a little bit more with the, the liner side and see if I can kind of get like work better with the, the, the bigger tip because right now I'm not used to it and it's just a little bit too big for my preference. <sighs> But that's it about that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to the very last thing, something that maybe you guys are the most interested in, even though it's kind of old news, I know. Um, I'm very, very late to the game on this, and that is because I just wasn't sure how much I really, really wanted it, and that is the Emily The Wants palette. Um, I, did, I was really in, interested in the color selection of this. I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, I am a fan of em Emily Noel, um, and I just, like, I thought it was really cool that she finally did a collab. I know it was, it was like, sold out for quite a while, and then it came back in stock. And when it came back in stock, um, what was it, in December or end of November, I decided to go ahead and purchase it just because the biggest reason was because I really wanted to support Emily Noel because I just adore her and I think she so deserves this. Um, now I do know that there has been um, some, uh, you know, some controversy about this palette. For one, where there was mold in some of people's palettes, which makes me think like that might be why this was sold out and not available for so long. Maybe they were fixing something. I don't know. It was never really, I don't think talked about about why or maybe it just really actually sold out. I don't know. Um, additionally, um, I know there were a lot of mixed reviews and a lot of people like didn't love this palette. I didn't watch a ton of reviews on this, but I just feel like the overall consensus was that this palette was just okay. It wasn't something that people absolutely loved and were raving about. There were some, I'm sure, and it wasn't something that everybody's like, this is garbage, we hate it. Like I think the most of people that I've seen have said it was just okay. That I think a lot of people really are in the area where I was, they just really wanted to support Emily Noel. I also know there was a lot of some drama with um, Tati and the review she did and how 
everybody was just so upset about her negative review and all this kind of stuff and people just tore her apart and I kind of I thought about talking about this um but I never did but it was just funny that that video and that whole thing that whole thing that happened with that um came out I think shortly after or a little bit after I had put up my video about why I don't do reviews and I just want to come on camera and be like see this exactly this is why I don't do reviews because people just freak out this is like people should be allowed to have their opinions um, and not every product is going to work for everybody. You know what I mean? Some people are going to love something and other people are going to hate it. Something's going to work for some people and some things are just not going to work for other people. And that's okay. Like we like are, should be allowed to have our own opinions. And while when I saw Tati's review, I kind of thought like, oh man, it can't be that bad, can it? Like, and part of me wanted to agree with some of the people who were upset with Tati because it's like, it did almost come across as like she was already negative from the start and things like that but at the same time another part of me was like you know what she is so entitled to her opinions and if she didn't like it it's okay like we do not need to be coming for her and I feel like people are over that by now so this is like old news old tea as they would say but I'm just like I just thought I would bring it up <sighs> and and just be like this is is crazy like and the thing is, regardless of what people will say, even regardless of Tati's review, it shouldn't really sway us one way or the other. It didn't sway me. Like, um, I still purchased the palette, even though her, her review is negative, even though a lot of people said this is just okay. Um, I still wanted to see for myself. And that's the thing. You can watch people and do, watch reviews, and it should kind of be informational and help you, but it shouldn't be like, no, we're, we're canceling this brand or this blah, 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 and we're not, or, or we're all for something. Like, make up your own mind. Use YouTube videos and reviews to kind of help you make a decision, but don't have them, like, tell you what to do. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Anyways, that was a, a long rabbit trail. All right, that was a very long rabbit trail, actually, because my card got full. My card was like, no, you are done. <laughs> so, yeah, also, it's uh, much later. I thought it was like 1 o'clock. It is 3.20 right now. Oh, my gosh. I've been filming for way too long. So let's get to this. <sighs> I have to say that when I first got this in the mail, I instantly opened it up and wanted to play with it. I was so, so excited. I sat down to start playing around with it, and... My first impressions were not good. I was like, oh, oh man. Um, and the thing is, I've never, I've tried Makeup Revolution products and I do like them, but I've never tried their eyeshadows. So I really had no real expectations, especially based on people's like reviews. People said it was okay. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Like I said, a lot of it was just like, okay. So I kind of was just trying to like keep that out of my mind and have like my own fresh thoughts. Um, and also really had no real expectations because I don't know how Revolution, Makeup Revolution eyeshadows perform. So I was like, I'm going in this kind of blindly, gonna make up my own mind. And I tried a look on this eye and I was like, oh, I, ooh, I, I didn't, I was like, this isn't great. Oh my gosh. Um, so then I tried a different look on this eye and I was just like, what is going on? Like it wasn't, everything was very sheer, not very pigmented, um, not, uh, I think like the mattes are okay, but like the shimmers especially were just like really, I don't know, like and I kind of, you can, I don't know if you can really tell, but I would like dug into a lot of the shimmers, like had to kind of dig in to really get product to come up. There's kind of, it, my palette's got a little bit messy. Um, and so anyway, so then I wiped, I wiped that off. I wiped the two looks off and went in and tried another look on this eye and then another look on this eye. And that first night I was just like, oh my gosh, I think I don't like this palette. Oh, and it made me so sad. It's just like, no. And I was like, I don't believe it because I was like, Emily Noel would not steer me wrong. Um, she would not put her name on something that wasn't good. But I do know that Emily Noel she just has different, I think, different preferences, like we all do, like for what she likes for eyeshadows. And if I am remembering correctly, I do feel like she likes eyeshadows that you kind of have to build up more, that, you know what I mean? So I kind of think like, maybe that's the deal and you have to kind of work with them a little bit more, you have to build them, they're a lot more subtle than, I, than I'm just used to, I guess. Um, and so I was like, I don't, I was like, I, I put it away. After I did four different looks on my eyes that night, I was like, 
feeling a little bit flustered, feeling a little bit frustrated, and feeling sad. I was like, I don't want this to be my thoughts of this palette. I really want to like this palette. So I put it away, um, and it was like, I'm just going to play with it another time. I was tired that night. It was kind of light, late. Um, and sometimes I feel like looks look kind of crazy and weird and not great when you don't have the rest of your face put together, you know what I mean? So I was like, I'm going to give it another shot. So I have been playing with it a few more times since then. And I will say that since I played with it a few more times, I do like it better than my initial impressions. And this is why sometimes it's really, really good to not just do first impressions and not just base things on your first impressions and give them a try. I know there's some people who are like, no, if I don't like something, I know I'm not gonna like it and that's the end of it. We're done, we're not gonna try it again. I'm kind of different into where like, I like to keep trying a product even if I don't like it initially because you never know like, it just could have been a bad day, it could have been whatever, I don't know. I like to give things a little bit more time to process my thoughts and how I think about using them. Um, other looks I've done, they've been kind of more simple and basic, nothing crazy or whatever. Um, and I will say that I felt like I had a little bit more luck the other times I've done, played with this palette and created looks. This squeaky chair is driving me nuts. <laughs> and so I still want to play with it more. So. Um, I do plan to or want to do like maybe a two looks or three looks one palette with this palette in the future. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. Or if you're just over it, I won't even bother. I don't know. But I want to give this a shot. I really adore Emily Noel. Um, and I don't want to feel like this, like this palette is in a negative light. You know, I kind of feel like I'm falling into the category of what a lot of people are saying is that it's just okay. And it's not that it's a bad palette. I think it's just that in this day and age for makeup there's such a high expectation and there's so many products especially at even affordable pro prices that just perform so well and the expectation for products is just really really up there but that being said this is just a $20 palette if I'm remembering correctly of how much I paid for it it's a $20 palette for all of these eyeshadows so it's not a bad deal I kind of feel like it's more of a beginner friendly palette and and so I'm I'm used to just different quality um, and so I have to go into it with that in mind, but that's not to say that these don't perform, they just perform differently than what I'm used to. And, and they do, you can create beautiful looks with them, but um, yeah, I just, like I said, it's hard because I didn't have expectations, so it's hard to be like, this did not live up to my expectation, but I kind of was just, I still kind of thought it would be better than what it was when I first tried it. So that being said, I'm still actually playing around with this palette. I still wanna develop more of my thoughts. My first impressions were not great, but they are a little bit better now about it. Um, and so, I don't know, I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm not gonna say whether I recommend this or not. That's really up to you. Um, but like I said, if you wanna see looks with it, I can do that to give you inspiration on how to use this palette and things like that, that might help. Um, I think for $20, it's, it's a good deal for all the eyeshadows you get. Um, but I kind of feel like this might be a palette I hand over <laughs> to my daughter and let her play with just because, um, like I said, I'm just used to different, like a higher quality. Um, and you know, that's, and that's fine. This makeup revolution is known as a more affordable brand. So it's just, it is what it is. It's a beautiful palette, but if you're expecting like really bam, amazing, pigmentation and things like that this is not quite that but it's not terrible by any means so um I'm liking it like I said a lot more than I did initially but I want to keep playing with it so with that being said I'm gonna be done rambling on and on because I have rambled enough and I'm sure you guys are sick of it if you're even still here thank you so so much for putting up with me and putting up with my rambling I know there's a few of you who always stick through uh, Sherry's one of them I'm shouting you out girl <laughs> you know I know you watch all my videos all the way through and there's several more of you guys who do watch all the way through and I appreciate you guys so so much the fact that you stick around through all of my rambling and then want to chat with me some more in the comments I love you guys so much for that and I really appreciate it because I feel like we're just girlfriends sitting together chatting makeup um, and and I love that so um, I'd love to also know your thoughts on any of these products if you've already tried them. Um, share your thoughts and your experiences if you have any tips or anything about the Emily palette or just anything else. If you are someone who recommended Pacifica to me, tell me your specific recommendations. <laughs> um, and yeah, with all that being said, I just want to thank you again so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah!